Hey everyone, today we're going to recover data from a USB-C portable hard drive that stopped working. Let's take a look. When you plug this hard drive in, it does pop up that it's detecting, but when I use my test software, it's completely unresponsive. So now I'm going to remove the bootloader ROM chip from the hard drive. I'm going to put it in my programmer to read it, and I'm going to patch it so I can interact with the drive's firmware. With the patch version made, I'm going to program it to a new BIOS chip. I'm going to put it in my reader, and I'm going to program it with the modified firmware. I'm going to use a hex editor in compare mode just to double check it has programmed it correctly. Let's plug our hard drive back in and see if our modification to the firmware is working. It is, but it's still unresponsive. The next step is to convert this USB-C PCB to SATA by removing four capacitors which link the USB controller to the main controller and disable the USB system altogether. I'll solder a SATA connector directly to the PCB, converting it to the SATA protocol. And now, for the first time, this hard drive is responsive and I can communicate with it. I'll check the smart table to see if there's any issues. And yes, there's 132 bad sectors already listed. Now I'm going to check the drive's firmware, make sure it's healthy and readable. Yes, it is a little bit slow, but all good. Now we're going to see if we got access to the data. So yes, we do. Okay, this is good news. So we're just doing a scan of the Windows master file table. This is where all the files and folders are. It's the, an NTFS database that's hidden from the user. And the black sectors here are our bad sectors. Now, we were expecting to see bad sectors because if you remember earlier, we saw it in the smart table, 132 current pending sectors. So these are sectors that have been identified as being trouble, yet the firmware hasn't taken any action to deal with them yet. I think it's been too late for this drive because it's already bricked itself. But now we're just going to have to read around them and we'll build a file table that way. And there it is. We've now got access to all the data. We'll organize to copy it to a new drive and we'll send it back to the customer. I'll see you guys in the next video.